What's up, guys? It's Adam from 1010 Talk. Welcome to the quarantine edition of 1010 Talk. We got a puppy, perfect timing. Completely irrelevant to today's video, but um, just wanted to let you know we got a beautiful black pug. Let's get to the review. So thanks to Ista, our apartment is completely done and I've got this jungle behind me as a pretty cool backdrop. Anyways, today's topic is a G-Shock that everyone has been, it appears, sleeping on. I don't really know why this is not a very popular G model. It is the DW5700 line. The one that I have on my wrist right now in particular is the 35th anniversary version. Um, of it, which is really cool. It's got the solid screw down gold case back on the back, gold hardware. Uh, you can pick these up for, for pretty cheap, uh, relatively. I think in the low hundreds still on Joma Shop. I got this one from Joma Shop for like 110 bucks or something like that. But anyways, there's all this hype around the, the, the GA2100 series, which is the Cassie Oak, um, which, no doubt is a fantastic watch. Um, and there's also the G-Shock Squares, the 5600 series, which is obviously extremely popular. And I'd be lying too if I said I didn't love them. Um, yeah, I've got five. And Ice's daily beater is a gold uh, G-Square as well. So anyways, let's get into some footage of this particular one that I have so you guys can see how cool it is. So I'll start off by saying that this is a revival. So this DW5700 model line series came out in 2018 after quite a hiatus. I believe the original model came out in the 80s and around, around 1987. So it makes sense that this thing kind of lost a little bit of steam throughout the 2000s and you didn't really see that many versions of this model out there. I'd say that the 2000s were definitely characterized most by the DW6900 series, which is the slightly larger circular sort of version, uh, which is a much beefier case. Here you can see the gold case back on this particular model, which is really cool and particular to the 35th anniversary uh, series of G-Shocks in 2018. This exact model is the DW5735, as I mentioned, 35th anniversary model with the really stunning gold hardware and an actual, a very cool sort of gold positive display on it. It might look clear, but it actually has a gold tint to it that's not picking up that well in the videos. Gold lettering, gold pushers, gold screw down case back. It's really a killer value for between $100 and $150. Now the base versions on Amazon, which I've linked below, you can get for around $50 or $60, but I think this one is definitely worth the extra splurge. Um, it is a little bit heavier too with that screw case back, which makes it pretty sweet. Other than that, it's a pretty typical G-Shock. Um, I think you're gonna see this model, the 5700 line, get a little bit more popular over the next couple years. They are, ha they are having already some additions like the Bathing Ape Edition, Sneaker Freaker, just to name a few. But I think this one's gonna pick up steam. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like and subscribe if you have not already. Uh, I'm gonna have a lot of content coming up because I'm at home quite a bit now with this whole situation. So expect more videos coming uh, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.